Hi, in this video, I am going to talk about the portion regression model. Uh, the portion regression model is, is a type of model uh, which is built to model for count variable, a variable, a target variable which takes the value of counts. Okay, and there are several examples uh, we can we can you know give to understand uh, the count variable. Okay, a count variable could be uh, a number of people dying of cancer in a particular year. Okay, that could be uh, you know that could be uh, an example. The number of awards. Uh, the number of awards uh, won by uh, an athlete or an actor in a given year. Um, the number of accidental death uh, in a particular place. So these are some of the count variable uh, that uh, that come at, that we come across, and we can um, use the portion regression models to model uh, these variables. Okay. So it has been proposed that the count dependent variable follows a portion process uh, whose parameters are determined by the exogenous variables. Okay, pretty much like other regression models, we also follow the same thing. So the target variable in this case, say for instance, a regression model is y equal to alpha plus beta x i. So uh, this is the count count variable count variable so variable which essentially takes some sort of a count of something okay like number of death number of accidents number of hours number of occurrences of something and the xi uh, are the independent variable independent variables or variables uh, which explains uh, the uh, the count okay variables which actually explains how the count has has been um, you know, has has uh, uh, has the significance. Like, for instance, what causes uh, the accidents to happen? What causes um, more number of accidents to happen? Okay. So, in a particular year, if there are, let's say, uh, you know, more vehicles on the road, you will expect more accidents to happen, right? More. Um, let's let's, for instance, uh, you know, counting the number of deaths from uh, cancer in a given hospital. You can uh, see the factors could be the number of doctors available, uh, the number of patients who turned up, um, and these are some of the variables you can take uh, as the independent variable to model for it. So this model is justified when the variable considered describes the number of occurrences. And that's what I was telling to you, right? Number of occurrences is something that we are interested in while building um, a portion regression model. So, Poisson regression model uh, derives uh, its motivation from uh, the Poisson distribution. So, this is one probability distribution that you might have learned in, high, uh, in, in school, uh, you know, uh, mathematics. Um, so, this is one of the distribution that um, explains uh, a behavior of data. So, probability of y, which is a random variable, taking a value of small y you know that's the way we write it is given like this e to the power lambda lambda to the power y divided by y factorial and what is lambda it is the average number of occurrences of something okay is the mean of occurrences so in the accident example that we took let's for instance in a particular place in a particular you know given point of time the number of accidents that happened uh, is let's say 5 so lambda takes a value of 5 in this case and it could differ okay so the average is what is given by lambda average of the distribution of data okay e is the exponential exponential constant and y is the uh, you know the 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 value of the random variable y capital y okay so that could take any any value actually Essentially, it can take any any number of value, and which is which has to be positive, by the way. Why should be uh, greater than or equal to zero? Why so? Because you cannot have a factorial for negative numbers, right? You can only have a factorial for positive number. You can have a factorial for zero, so that's not an issue. 
and and you'll never have a negative number because y the random variable you know capital y sorry capital y is sorry random variable capital y uh, is is actually represents the count of something a count of something cannot be negative isn't it we cannot have negative numbers for count there are some assumptions over here and one need to uh, give uh, importance to that the assumption of independence um, the occurrences should be independent of each other the probability of occurrences in short interval is proportional to the length of the interval which is very much what one would expect um, if you take a smaller interval and see how many events happen in that time period that will be less compared to if you take a bigger interval right that is pretty intuitive and that's what is the assumption okay so the uh, number of occurrences in a given interval is proportional to directly proportional to to the uh, length of the interval okay more the length more will be the chances of occurrence okay of something so probability of another occurrence in such a short uh, interval is zero in a very tiny interval uh, if something is happening there is very less chances that something else will also happen that means the event do not happen um, do not happen uh, as in um, uh, i mean there is no dependency as such i mean it it is completely independent okay independent of each other so that the event occurrences are completely independent like you know death of somebody in cancer is not dependent on somebody else death right so that essentially is what is also assumed and give in a short in interval you just assume that there is just one occurrence of something specification of the model so how do we specify this this is specified like this you already see you know, it's very similar to what you see in a portion uh, distribution so probably that y takes uh, a value of something depends on the mean depends on uh, uh, you know how many number of counts right y okay and to formulate such a distribution uh, normally a log linear specification of the model is always taken so that looks like the log logarithm of so we are trying to me uh, we are trying to find out what is the average number of uh, you know events or occurrences that happen okay average number of death average number of accidents average number of something happening okay so that is nothing but ln of the average number that we are trying to model and the explanatory variables and the their coefficient so that's exactly is the uh, you know that's exactly is the uh, specification for a Poisson regression model and the way you find the expectations of something expectations nothing but the mean or average of something is not matter exponential of xi beta okay so that's your independent variable these are your estimates and that's the way you uh, find the expected value of lambdas and how do you interpret the co coefficient once we have obtained the parameter estimates uh, we can calculate the conditional mean conditional mean as in when you have already given the independent the values of the independent variable you can put in the value and um, uh, with the given estimate estimated value of beta you can find out the estimated value of lambdas okay uh, which gives us the ex expected number of events per period okay, because all we are interested in is lambda which represents how many number of uh, events one one would expect in a given period further if uh, xik is a log of an economic variable um, you know we can calculate the elasticity of something so elasticity is nothing but change of something with respect to something okay so elasticity is something like you know dy by d um, so it's, it's, it's just a change of something with respect to change of something let's say dy by uh, dt divided by dy, dx by dt that means change of 
y with respect to t divided by change of x with respect to t. So if you take the uh, ratio of that, you take elasticity. That means how uh, you know how well it's it's uh, how fast or how so. Uh, I mean what we, I mean in, in in terms of we can we can say this is marginal marginal change. Okay. So that's essentially what we mean by that. Next thing is diagnostics testing. How do we ensure that uh, the model is doing fine? Okay. One of the assumption in this case is the uh, the mean. The mean is equal to the variance. The mean is equal to the variance. That's what. Um, is the assumption uh, in in Poisson uh, in the Poisson model? Okay, so that's what uh, we will do as part of diagnostic checking. We'll have the null hypothesis where the variance of y i is lambda i. So that means we are trying to see if the mean is equivalent to the variance. If that is the case, then the model is fine. Otherwise, not. So that's the way you. Uh, you know, do the diagnostic testing. So this is all about theory. In another video, I'll I'll show you how to build a Poisson regression model from scratch, and we'll take an example by you know taking sort of a real data and model for it using some statistical software, and you will have a better understanding. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to our channel.